Hasbro's house, so like this one time I decided I wanted to leave Hasbro because it was just super annoying, and I don't know why it was, it was the most annoying thing in the entire world, and I told Supervisor, I said, I don't want to work for you anymore, and he said, alright, get out, and I said, oh no, I don't have anything to pack, because he told me to pack my things and get out, but because I didn't pack anything, I just kind of, I found this Battle Scout camera sitting on the floor in the corner, and I, I just picked it up because nobody was looking, and I spent 45 minutes bubble wrapping it in 52 layers of bubble wrap, and uh, so I, I'm now living out on the street because I kind of just lived in Supervisor's basement, hey, but it's actually good now because I still have the camera and I can do vlogs now. I'm running out of time. Ah, yes, this hot mess. This is the Nerf Battle Scout camera. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what it is and everybody hates it. And pretty much for the exact reason that you just noticed, you just saw what it did. That was a combination of the video and audio quality included with this camera out of the box with no modifications. I don't know how you would modify a camera, but that's to each their own. All you need to know is that the size of this camera is very deceiving. Yup, that's the lens. It is microscopic. It's actually way smaller than that hexagon. You see that tiny little dot in the middle? That is the lens. It is literally the size of the tip of a pencil. But hey, if you take a look at the specs, it says 720p high definition. You don't need the biggest lens on the planet to do that. The thing is, I don't even know if that would count as high definition because the way this camera is set up is incredibly stupid. It's the most bare bones of bare bones basics on the internals that you can get, which makes the video look super grainy, even in the best lighting possible. But let's say you put all that aside, you just want a camera for your Nerf blasters. You want something you can strap onto your blasters for some bizarre reason because blaster mounted cameras are literally the dumbest idea on the planet and I will explain why at the end of this video. Here's what you got. You can get this straight from Hasbro even though it's pretty hard to find nowadays and they get pretty expensive on eBay. How does it work? What does it do? Let's find out. I'm literally gonna review this like any Nerf Blaster, starting with the design. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks like something that you would want to put on your Nerf Blaster. It has an interesting blocky design, even though, my gosh, it is plainer than plain on the other side, but it doesn't really take away from how it looks. I still think it looks pretty good, even from the plain side. From this side, I think it looks great. It looks very cool and kind of futuristic in a sort of 70s retro style way. If we move on to the ergonomics. <laughs> If we move on to the functionality of how it actually clips onto a rail, it's got a lot of batteries. Four double A's in this nugget, and you better believe that there's something that it uses to hold onto the rail better. And that is where this knob comes into place. Right now, it is in the open position, and the rail mounts are extremely loose. When you actually turn this knob to the other position, it is locked tight, and it does not want to move. I'm going to go over a brief demonstration, please excuse this set, this isn't my Nerf room, but I'm going to give a brief demonstration of how you would go about all of the basic functions this camera does, starting with loading in an SD card. This little thing on the side, you open it, hold it open, take your SD card, it has to be a full-sized one, not a micro converter. Shove it in, close it, and your SD card is loaded. It's pretty simple. Now what about turning it on? Well, this switch in the front, you can either turn it to this position or this position. If you turn it to this position, it will be in filming mode. The other side, it will be in photo mode. And you can identify that just by looking at it. It has a picture of a video camera and a regular camera. Let's say you just want to take a picture of a blaster shot. Turn it to the camera mode and watch the light. It's turning on, it's basically just sensing itself. And when it turns green, you're clear. To attach it to a blaster, it's pretty much just what you think. You slide it onto a rail, only this time, when it locks, you have to turn this knob to the forward position. Once it stops, the camera is actually very well secured onto the blaster. To take a photo, you press this button right here, and it will take a picture for you. It is worth noting what they've done to the end strike attachment mechanism to make it more stable. They put a nub in the back, which makes it so that it can't bend backwards even when the notch in the front is well secured, meaning that it has the best connection it possibly can using an end strike attachment rail. It's pretty hard to get the end strike rail to work very well, but I feel like they did this the best way they could, so I have to give them credits for that. Let's say that you actually want to take a video though. You would turn it to this position on the left, Wait for it to turn on, and again, when it turns green, then you press the button to start filming. 
This time, the light will turn red, or this light will turn red at least, and that's how you know that it's filming. Once you press it again, the light in there will turn off, and the filming is ended. Everything that is filmed is automatically saved to the SD card so that you can export it later. And as you saw at the beginning of this video, I don't know why you'd want to do that. Now as the king of hot takes, I obviously like this camera because nobody else likes it, but here's the reason why. I love the fact that it is so bad that it's almost unusable for anything. That's exactly what I wanted out of this. Intern is my favorite character to play, and I love the idea where everything that he does is just like the cheapest, nuggetiest uh, set of things that he has to work with, and so the only recording camera he can use is this one. So like, it just works so well, and I am very excited to do intern vlogs with this because I feel like that's going to be a very fun type of video introduced on this channel. So it isn't good. I'm not secretly trying to say that it is good or anything. I'm literally saying, yes, this camera is atrocious. That does not mean that you can't have fun with it because under the right impression, you can have a tremendous amount of fun with this thing, which is exactly what I plan on doing. I love the Battle Scout camera because it is the cheapest, most atrocious piece of nugget tier hardware that you could strap onto your Nerf blaster. And that automatically makes it the best attachment Nerf has come out with, not but I like it anyways. I would link it in the description, but it's dis discontinued. Can't pick it up. You can't get the Modulus Battle Scout anymore either. Why would you want to? It has end strike performance and it's just a dumb idea. But yeah, this is this is the attachment. It's, it, uh, I don't know, stop watching this video. Gosh, why are you watching a review on a camera?